So this is my bootstrap uh, sample. It is just a sample. There's nothing special about it, but playing around with just a few features of bootstrap. Um, I'm using the cloud IDE or cloud nine IDE. And um, I ran a blank template, installed bootstrap, uh, watched some videos, wrote some code, and we ended up making uh, this a uh, little dynamic website. Uh, all everything is dynamic and flowing. Uh, we'll see at the end uh, when we compress the website. It is actually um, going to all, you know, flow and move around so that it's still usable and readable, and you don't have to scroll to the side or anything. You just keep scrolling down. So we have a header. You know, you can click that, go down to certain sections. Um, so when the Hyundai actually features, we can click back here, which is just the home back at the top. It's all one web page. And there's different sections. Just, uh, I played around with the grid um, and the grid layout uh, that Bootstrap has. Uh, this is all just th a few columns of text. And I also played around with the, um, the color buttons. <laughs> Not very special, but it was pretty cool. Um, I hope they actually make that make more colors available. There's only like five or six. But anyways, a um, little text entry. You can enter whatever you want. Um, you know, uh, if you wanted someone to subscribe your, to your uh, web page. Well, gallery, playing around the carousel feature. Um, it didn't work, uh, clearly. I don't know if it was my end or if it's just the way I deployed it. But this was an issue I did have with... Um, making this website. Like I said, it could be mostly me, because in the videos I watched, um, they had it running just fine. So maybe it's just the way I'm running this website or something. Um, but I would like to probably put this on to my actual final website, so we'll see. Hopefully I can get that working. Here's playing around with columns again, the little grid snapping of, we have, um, we have one row here, with a picture at the end, another row with a picture at the end, another row with a picture at the end, which is basically just a row split into two columns. And we have one column of text and then column of pictures. Um, down here we're playing again with this uh, same grid up here, and we just added uh, boxes, you know, text boxes pretty much, with uh, uh, these glyphicons. Um, there's little symbols, you could change them whatever you want, there's a bunch of them. But, um, yeah, that's it. Kind of, you know, using the Gulf cons here, the left and right chevrons. So, I could see, um, you know, developers using this, especially with this uh, little snapping feature of being able to dynamically adjust. So if you had something this big out here, you slowly, slowly moved it in, you know, the text changes, it goes into a single column. And then you'd get a little drop down menu up here. If you did put anything there, I didn't code anything into that. But if you wanted to, you could. And you could uh, have a little drop down menu. Instead of having uh, these things up here, they could be, when they get squished, they get taken away. You could bring them into the drop down menu. Um, now, if you do it this minimal, I don't think it would ever have to be this small. But if you ever did, and you could, it still works. Still see everything nice and organized. Um, maybe this needs to be still changed up, little things here and there. Otherwise, everything still, you know, pretty much works. Now, this would be useful for developers if they were developing on anything from, um, for a web page that needs to be on, uh, everything from a large screen all the way down to small mobile screens, which are being used a lot more. So, definitely an area where developers could use it, and. Uh, Definitely would use it sometime in the future if I ever had to make a website that needed to be used on normal desktop computers or laptops and also on mobile phones. Uh, kind of bring and widens your audience a lot more. But anyways, that's an overview of a little experimental website I made. Hope you liked it. Thanks for watching.